Hey, Kevin, just what to get your thoughts uh, on Saturday's 0 0 draw with Burt Island to start with? Um, poor game. Poor game is, is my my overriding thought. Um, not much quality in it for, for either side. Not many chances, goal scoring opportunities in the game. Um, like I said, the, the, the ball was out of play more often than it was any play on Saturday. Um, so many throw ins. And you know the the pitch and the conditions played a, a massive part in that. Yeah. And really, really windy. Um and that was for both teams, you know, it wasn't just us. Yeah. Pitch was hard, it was like a summer pitch, it was you know, it was bobbly. Um we got slightly better in the second half when we when we changed shape, created more half chances, but you know, ultimately we didn't want the goalie. Yeah. Obviously that drop of points there comes in the back of some mixed results with a great run obviously at the start of the year. I think we won nine 10 games in a row, yep. which has also put us in a great position uh, in the league. But even with dropping points over you know, the last kind of few weeks, I think the boys have still been playing really well. We have. Um, probably Kirkcaldy away, it was probably our, our, our poorest performance. That was up there with the, the Preston away game, yeah. uh, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, two really poor performances, but the the cold stream game here, um, in particular, we, we ended up with nine men eventually. But we played a we played a long period of the game with ten men, um, and I still thought we were a better side. You know, we, we still created chances, lots of chances. We missed a penalty that day, um, and the way we're playing is not concerning me. Yeah, um, we're creating chances. You know, you, even if you go back to to Canoe last week to win three penalties, yes, shows you're doing something right. You're in the opposition box and. You know, we were creating chances in, in, in that final third. So, no concerned how we're playing. Um, I don't even think, looking at it now, I don't even think Saturday is a bad point, you know, against Burnt Island. Burnt Island have the the second best defensive record in the league, yeah. equal with Lancarty. So, have two teams that best defensive record ourselves, Burnt Island joint second, you know, it's no surprising, it's a nil-nil. And obviously, we're, at the start of the season, the main aim was to get us back into the Premier Division, and we're, we're four games away from from that, and you know just a couple of results away from achieving yeah, that. So, yeah. <clears throat> looking ahead to the games we've, um, that's got coming up, we're obviously away to Loch Awe on on Saturday. How are we preparing for that? And I, I always I always feel that the the teams at the bottom end of the division are harder opposition. Um, for for the fact that you know they need to they need to win points, they they seem to play when we when we play against them they seem to be harder to break down. You know they have a, a better defensive shape and and most of the teams that we've played at the bottom of the league are, are playing one up front, so you, it, it's difficult to break them down. Um, right now we have we've taken twenty four points out of twenty seven out of the top six teams. Right. So these these open games. When it's two attacking teams that are, that are going out and trying to win a game, you know we've, we've come up trumps more often than not. So the, the games with the, the teams at the, at the bottom end that are harder, um, unfortunately for us, you know we've got three teams that are at the bottom end to play, um, which on paper, you know, people think that's that's a good thing. Yes. The Glen Northis game here um, next Saturday, it, it, it's it will be played in a, as a cup final, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, Glen Northis might be in a position where, where a draw does them. You know, if they come away from home and pick up a point, it would be a good point for them. Yeah. We, will, we will have to win the game. Yeah. Regardless of what we do on Saturday, we'll have to win the game to to keep to keep the the chance of winning leagues yeah. or, or promotion in our hands. Yeah. Obviously, we want to keep that momentum going um, and just keep picking up uh, the points. Um, looking ahead into, into next season, um, you've also tied in a lot of the current squad mm -hmm. uh, onto contracts. Are you just looking for minimal changes to the squad, just bringing in you know, <coughs> certain positions? Uh, I think continuity is, you know, it's massive. Obviously, this is this is really the, the first team I've built here, mm. um, and inherited last season's squad. So, I want an opportunity to be able to work with this squad for two or three seasons. Um, I think we've got a good squad. I think our squad would compete in the Premier League. So, 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't going to change it. I will change it. I will bring in two or three. I think that's important. You bring in two or three, but the two or three has to be quality now. It can't. It doesn't have to be quantity. Yeah. We've got twenty seven players, so the players that we bring in have to be better than what we've got. Um, players understand that. You know, players players are players are, are human beings, and and they want to play football, and um, they understand that that there's a you know, a shelf life, effectively. Um, if somebody comes in that's, that's potentially better than them, they'll understand that they move on. So, massive changes, no subtle changes, more likely. Yeah. And obviously one of the pluses we've had as a club this season has been the under-20s. And there's been loads of the, the guys have had the opportunities at training, you know, and they've, they've been on the bench, they've made an impact on the yep. team. Yep. Is that something, again, you'd be looking just to, to continue next year? Yeah, time? definitely. Um, you know, we discussed that then we can effectively make our squad smaller, yeah. first team squad smaller, yeah. um, and utilise the twenties more. Yeah. They are obviously a year into the into the project and, and playing for the under twenties. Although they're still going to be eighteen, the majority of them are going to be eighteen. Um, but if you look at the impact young Gregor's had this year, yeah. you know that there's ones in the twenties that that can make that same impact. Yeah. You know, Daniel Hall and, and Callum Richards and. And these these attacking type players that under under twenty seem to have millions of, um, so it is something that we that we will look at, um, something that we do want to to keep promoting. Um, it's giving the twenties opportunities, and if they train with the first team, ultimately they get better. So we want to provide that that pathway. And where where we're at just now, you you pleased with with the position that the club's at? Club's in a great position, um, financially and, and again that the, the supporters are are back to the, you know the club, not just the team but the club, right throughout the season and and long may that continue. Um, I was actually looking at some numbers recently and we're the second highest, you know, supported as a Scotland club to Linlithgow Rose. So if Linlithgow Rose does that make us? <laughs> You know the, the highest support of the club, um, uh, well in terms of in terms of attendances, but the support's been massive, um, and, and it's greatly appreciated by everybody.